of our favorite chefs have been cooking up a storm with their best holiday leftover recipes, all for a shot at $10,000 for the charity of their choice. And not only that, this shiny trophy. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Very well done, very nice. And last but not least, we have champion pit master and barbecue extraordinaire, Erica Blair Roby, who is cooking with DeMarco. Yes, you heard pit master, right? Pit yeah. master. Hey, you know, I ain't trying to brag, but save the best for last, right? We've heard that, no cliche. Erica, welcome, good to Thank see you again. You. This is the first doing? person that I've seen drop it like it's hot in some cowboy boots. You did it, right? We try. We try, we, we try. try. We so try. we're doing a bacon bliss bowl. Tell yeah, us about this. Yeah, triple B, all right? So Blake, the bacon bliss bowl is amazing because let's be real. We want to be realistic. If you've been cooking the whole holiday, mm -hmm. you're not trying to go in your kitchen and do anything crazy. Not at all. And you know what? My dad always said, bacon is God's way of apologizing for vegetables. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy, hats off to you. Anyone who can win bacon just won my heart. <laughs> You just won my heart. Yeah, I'm gonna get you in here. Are you French braiding so over here? We, we, have, she's doing we have been doing a bacon weave, so I'm gonna let you guys bring that down. Weave? Yeah, okay. bring it down. Did Don't be shy. Sure. I did wash my hands. You did. But I was gonna call you because you didn't wash your hands. I did. So now, I mean, this is like art class. So you're getting the holidays and you're getting an art project. So bring that in there. And now you can do as much bacon or as little as you want. You can oh, cut this in oh, half. Oh, wow. And what you're doing is you're taking this, and this is a beautiful weave, y'all, by the way. Nice. All right. <laughs> and then you're going to drape it over the bowl. Okay. So, and when you're finished, this is what you'll have. And this is what's going to go on your smoker. Nice. This is going to go in your oven. That's you know, we nice. like to roll smoke in my house. So we take that, we put it out on the mm. grill. Okay. And you just wait for it, and you smell it. The whole neighborhood wakes up. So wait, really quick. Yeah. Because this work with turkey bacon? It can work with any bacon. Okay, good. You can do anything. You can do veggie bacon. You veggie bacon. Whatever you Everybody should eat bacon. I know there's a lot of turkey sir, bacon love. Sir, <laughs> sir. I'm not sure I want your veggie bacon. <laughs> 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 so now you're gonna go through your kitchen. You're looking at those leftovers. Yes. And like in my family, we got turkey. We do turkey for every holiday. So now what we're doing is making a turkey chili that's gonna go into our Ooh. bacon bowl. Oh yeah. Okay. This is going yeah. in. What's in here? This already? is a beef stock. So you can do beef. You could do a poultry stock. Okay. Whatever you want, make your own. And that's gonna be a your chicken base. stock. A little chicken stock. And the thing about it is, mm. I like to be realistic with what I do because. This is what's really in my house. Mm -hmm. And as much as I love a beautiful beef sandwich, I'm from Ohio, we're broke, nobody's buying beef. <laughs> 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 Right here. Okay. So, so go ahead. We have. Yeah. So just go ahead. You got a little cinnamon for the holiday. Oh, You're gonna put some rocks. pepper in there. And now, if y'all didn't know, Ohio, we are known for a chili that we make. So that's why yeah. you're gonna have that chocolate right there. But that's actually the abuela chocolate. So it has cinnamon chocolate. in it. Mm -hmm. And that's what you put into your chili. No matter what protein you use, chocolate. That yes. is the base that is gonna give you that edge. So and you chocolate, you use a mole also. That's exactly right. Yeah, I love it. I love it. Roxy trying to be the cool. I, love you know, I don't have to try, DeMarco. <laughs> I don't have to try. We stare? And DeMarco, yeah, you're going to get in there and just start stirring. Move out the way, Roxy. You got it, Papa. Yeah. You got it, Papa. And now this is beautiful because you can really add whatever you have in your kitchen into your chili. It doesn't matter if you don't have all these seasonings. You do what you feel. You own your kitchen when you're in there. And the beautiful thing DeMarco, about this. DeMarco, own it. You own, own it. it. Own it. Yeah. Own it. Yeah. Own it. Yeah. You can smell up the whole house. And while this is simmering over here, you're free to go do whatever you oh need to God. do in your house. Life does not stop in my kitchen, and it shouldn't in yours either. Mm. So after that simmers for a while, your bacon is out there on the smoker or it's in the oven. Okay. Now you got, it's gonna simmer down. Product. And now you got your finished product. And one mm. of the things is, if you're in, if you're sitting there and you're doing your oven, you can add a little bit of liquid smoke to your bacon to still get those little hickory Ooh. notes, those, yes. that wood fired flavor. I feel like I would just take this bowl and just, just eat, eat it out of, just, just eat out the Oh. There's been many times where this has happened. Wow. So now look, you come here, your bacon is off, discard that bowl, put it back wherever you need Can it I to be. Can this chicken in here? And yeah, so now you're gonna start being the artist and layering your bowl. And the thing about this recipe oh, that I really nice. love, look how good he's doing. I mean, look Sam, look at this. Oh. 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 Oh.
I'm the man. I'm this the man. Now you're all in that Just go over. This is so good. The beautiful thing about this is you're taking ownership of your food. And this is something that any skill level can do. Okay. So the beauty of it is that this is a recipe that anybody in their kitchen can do, and it's not going to be a recipe that prices people out or takes people away from their family because they're trying to figure out how to make it. This Thank is a you. realistic day after Thanks, holiday hey, season. Hey, Erica. all of our leftovers. You can put a little bit of mac and cheese in there. I got cornbread. It is not a holiday. So you can just top house. it. Yeah, just start topping it. You're making a bacon bowl. Like hey, hey, Erica, before, before I start, you put a lime on this. Do you want us to use it, <laughs> or was it for it? color? Yes. So do it, it with the lime just because yes, I want to get it right. Okay. Yes, sir. Everything I'm, on on there. And how, <laughs> I'm watching Marcus. Like, how do you eat it? How do you? How do you? Chef chicken? Rick DeMarco took ownership of that plate. Oh, you are the sous chef. Yeah, you know. Bring it, you know. bring it, keep bringing it, Marcus. Yeah. So cool. But yeah, Very so, nice. and you just want to layer. And, mm. and the beautiful thing about this, this also works as a tailgate recipe because you can walk with these bowls. Yeah, but you, you know what? I'd you could do whatever you want. Sleepy by the time I walk into the game. Get that itis. Yeah, yeah. All right, Erica. Thank you very much. We appreciate it. America's recipe. Uh, just go to goodmorningamerica.com slash food or scan the QR code on your screen. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.